Hey there kids, it's me, Safari Sam, and today we're going to do another one of these dumbass, short form, low production value things that'll just, you know, up the view count without having to put in very much effort at all. Uh, and today we're looking at yet another fossil. Last time we looked at this trailer boy here, so be sure to check that out in the Safari Sam playlist. But today we're looking at something much more interesting. Another, oh! Yeah, yeah, that's right. It's another fossil. Wow. Yeah, we, we got variety. First we had an animal fossil, and now we have a plant fossil. Wow. That's a big boy. Okay, can we fucking cut? Look, Jerry, plants really aren't my expertise. I know you want me to start doing, like, plants and rocks and that type of shit in addition to animals, but... It's just really not my forte. I don't know anything about plants. Oh, fuck you, Jerry. I know that we need to grow the audience. I know that we need to broaden. But guess what, motherfucker? I ain't a goddamn botanist. I'm not a goddamn botanist. And you know what? You're not a goddamn man. That's right. I heard you got the snip, Jerry. No, Jerry. Fuck you. Yeah, a plant fossil. Wow. So, plant fossils like this one are common uh, in coal mining areas. Because uh, they're mining for coal, but they find like one of these instead. Uh, why are they commonly found in coal mines? I don't fucking know. I'm, I'm a zoologist. I, you expect me to know everything about fucking plants? But during the Carboniferous period, or Age of Plants, uh, you know, as they call it, uh, paleontologists or whatever those fucking hacks are, uh, it was about... It's like 300 million years ago, uh, which is kind of where coal starts, I guess. Is, is that, does that explain it? I'm not a botanist. So I guess like these ferns and other plants, ferns are like a pretty stereotypical prehistoric plant, right? Yeah, and they became like trapped between like the black shale. You see that black shale there? Yeah. That's, um, that's what it is I don't know man but uh <laughs> you know and then this this white mineral actually replaced the plant tissues there's no actual plant in here just like there's no actual animal in here uh, this is pyrophyllite uh, also known as aluminum silicate that's what the white is it kind of just fills in the gaps where the plants were uh, just kind of pr preserves you know, the shape, so that we can see prehistoric plants now in the modern day. Uh, there are there are many different plants that we see fossilized because there were just as many plants back then as there are today, if not more. And I mean, you had like Al... Jerry, I can't fucking read this. Alester Pereira... Per Alithopreris, Neuroprateris, Pecoprateris, and Sphino... Sphinophylum? What the fuck are these? I don't know. Anyways, this specific fossil comes from Pennsylvania. Uh, it's actually very neat. Uh, there's not, you know, as much to see on this side. Lots of little scratches filled in by the white mineral. Uh, you can see this plant actually very clearly, the tip of this fern here, which is actually very nicely detailed, all things considered. Uh, really, really well done. There's a little bit missing right here. You can see where that's chipped off. Uh, but that's how fossils be, yo. They're very, uh, fragile. Fragile? I don't know fucking how they pronounce that shit in the States. But, you know, you can see more plant leaves here and here, of course. Now you might want to take a closer look at that one to be able to notice them. Yeah, that's just real classic. So a plant fossil like this, uh, you know, pretty common fern fossil in the black shale nothing terribly special just like uh you know every relationship i've ever been in just never anything special no one will fucking love sam yeah so that's really it for today's safari sam plant fossils wow there's a lot of black shit all over me i'm gonna get cancelled for fucking blackface uh it's from a coal mine but we're going to have to end this here for today. Thank you all very much uh, for tuning in to see 
more magnificent triumphs of nature or whatever. I don't fucking know. Uh, we'll be back next time with... I think they wanted me to do bugs next time or something. What, some kind of fucking beetle? I don't know, mate. Something like that. But uh, we'll, we'll certainly get into it uh, when the time is right. And when the fossil's ripe. So that's it. If you really want to support the show, rating, commenting, you know, you know, doing the comment, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, all that's good. You can see all the Safari Sam on the Safari Sam playlist on the channel. But in all honesty, uh, the best, best, best way to support the show is to become a patron on Patreon. Uh, there's one, five, and ten dollar a month tiers. It'll really help us not only get physical you know bits of nature that we can work with here uh, on this set but also it'll help us be able to get access to locations where i can interact with real live nature you know they can help me get into museums zoos aquariums yes i am banned from most of them but you know there are still a few out there who haven't caught on uh, it'll help us do that. It'll help us get us, you know, access to animals and be allowed to hold them and etc. So, you know, if you could, if you could just, you know, fucking give us all your money, that'd be fucking great. Also, I owe the mob a fuck ton, so <clears throat> hurry it up. So that's it. Thank you all once again uh, for your support, and I will see you all next time. Fucking idiots. If I was, you know, if I was one of those fucking viewers, I wouldn't even have made it halfway through that garbage. A plant fossil? Nobody fucking cares if it's not a dinosaur. Seriously, nobody cares if it's not a dinosaur. They're all fucking idiots if they watch that whole thing. Wait, why is there a red light on the camera still?